Good morning children, welcome to SST class. This is the continuation from the previous chapter. In our last class, we learned about our environment and its and, and how it's formed, isn't it? We also learned that things which are present in the environment are very precious and we should always protect it, right? Now, why is it important for us to protect our environment? Because everything which we are getting or which we are using, we all get from our environments. So the water we drink, the air we breathe, the soil we grow our crops, right? And even the trees. From the trees we get many things, pen, uh, pencil, you know, for copy and everything, papers we get from the trees. And uh, even the air we breathe. That also we get from the trees. So it is very important we take care of our environment and protect it. But uh, what happens is that because of our carelessness, we are polluting our environment directly or indirectly. We are using its resources or not, but we are not taking care of it, and which could lead to some pollutions to happen. Okay? So Today we are going to learn the types of pollution in the environment. See the types of environment. Number one, air pollution, water pollution, land pollution, and noise pollution. Now what exactly pollution means? Okay. A pollution is a contamination of harmful substances to the environment, whether it is water, air, land, or etc. Okay. Now what does it do? It harms our environment, it pollutes our environment, it affects our environment and also harmful for human beings and other animals. So we should not pollute the environment, we should take care of our environment. So let's get into the topic uh, and its type. Types of pollution. First thing is air pollution. Now what is air pollution? When the air pollution smokes from cars, buses, scooters, factories, etc., leads to air pollution, burning of plastics and bags, rusting of crackers, which also it could also lead to air pollution. You know, in the Sera, Diwali, in Christmas, we uh, no brush crackers, which which could also lead to air pollution. Okay, and what if we uh, breathe? Polluted air will fall sick, will fall sick, and we get many diseases. Uh, diseases like, you know, uh, breathing problem, which is called asthma. Breathing problem, asthma. So this is a kind of disease when we uh, uh, when we breathe polluted air. Okay. Now the next is water pollution. So how does water pollution take place? Throwing of garbage into the water bodies, burning of animals, washing clothes, utensils, etc. Because this um, pollution in the water and makes our water unfit for drinking. Okay, this polluted water is harmful not only to humans, not only to us, but also it affects the animals which live in the water, which are called marine animals. Isn't it? For example, fish. They are present in the, inside the, in the water. So, this is also a problem for marine animals. Uh, and what if we drink the polluted water? It will fall sick and we get many diseases. Okay? So, then uh, that means we should not pollute the water bodies. Okay? Now, uh, the, what we have learned is air pollution and water pollution. Now, we will move on to the next land pollution. Alright? Now, let's see what is land pollution and its causes. See, I have written land pollution, land throwing of garbage, presses from our homes and even from our the industries leads to land pollution. Uh, dirty water from sewage which carries no lots of on 
what it takes from sea to the lands. It's also called land pollution. Extensive use of pesticides and fertilizers. Extensive means more. Using more number of uh, more number of pesticides. Pesticides means the farmers they use to kill some insects or to prevent their crops. Okay, then fertilizers. The farmers use fertilizers in order to grow their crops well. So if you use this in a more quantity, what will happen? The land loses its quality. Okay, this also leads to land pollution. Uh, then, even we also pollute the land, isn't it? After eating sweets, ice creams, what we do? We throw wrappers here and there, isn't it? Which leads to land pollution. We should not do that. We should not do that. After eating sweets, ice creams, the wrappers should be put properly in the dustbin. Okay. Uh, uh, we should be always aware of this. Now move on to noise pollution. How it gets polluted? Noise pollution. Sounds of cars honking. Uh, sounds of cars honking. Vendors selling their goods. Noise from factories. Bursting of crackers. This all leads to noise pollution. And we all know, uh, you know, the noise pollution occurs when the children inside the class or when the students inside the class without teachers, isn't it? When the children are inside the class without the teachers, it's also, also noise pollution in the class, alright? Uh, then, um, uh, what is noise pollution? Any unpleasant or disturbing noise or disturbing sound is known as noise. Any unpleasant, we don't, we don't feel good, we feel irritated. And disturbing sound is known as noise. Uh, so we all know what leads to noise pollution. Sound of car honking, vendors selling their goods, noise from factories, cars, everything leads to noise pollution. Okay, so today we learn that there are four types of pollution one is air pollution, water pollution, land pollution and noise pollution and we learned their causes and uh, in the next class we will learn how to uh, prevent or how to uh, save our environment so this is not this much for today we will continue our lesson in the next class and you will get your homework uh, from this chapter through your whatsapp uh, through WhatsApp from your class teacher, so please see in your WhatsApp group. Uh, so we'll see in the next class. Take care. Have a good day ahead. Okay, thank you.